What is going on guys, Pound in the Shop, and tonight we're talking Rhodes Lifters, the original variable valve timing for your old school iron engine. Uh, is it all true or is it all BS? Let's check it out. Everybody loves a big lumpy camshaft, but with lumpy camshafts comes a lot of overlap. And with a lot of overlap, we get low engine vacuum and typically bad drivability. When we pick a large camshaft, it's typically a trade-off from you kind of give up low end power to pick up top end power. And the same thing applies when you go to a smaller a camshaft, you pick up low end power and you give up the top end power. Uh, there's a product called Rhodes Lifters. And basically what they are, this isn't, this isn't a Rhodes lifter, this is a, a Delco lifter. Um, but what, what it is basically is a lifter that bleeds off lift in duration at idle. So the plunger inside these Rhodes lifters will actually collapse at idle and low RPM, under 3000 RPM, and actually bleed off the excess lift and duration. And they advertise it, it gives you about 10 degrees less duration on your camshaft. Um, I've never used a set of these. I've heard about them. They've been around for a long time, but I've never actually used a, a set of these. So I was, I was interested to try them on our 406 small block Chevy, the one that everyone's waiting to dyno. And there's a bunch of testing I want to do on it. And, and this is one of the tests. Um, but I wanted to see, uh, if they actually did what they claim. So if you look on the, on the package here, more torque, more vacuum, more miles per, uh, per gallon. Uh, so what I wanted to see basically is how much vacuum in we could pick up with these lifters because what they claim is if you have marginal uh, vacuum on your engine. So if you pick a camshaft that's too big, you're going to have low vacuum at idle and what that can play a big role in is power brakes. So when I picked the camshaft for a 406 uh, small block here, I picked a camshaft that I knew I uh, have a calculation that I use to kind of figure out if it's going to be borderline for power brakes given the overlap. And I knew uh, it would be have between 10 and 12 inches of vacuum and I ended up having 11 inches of vacuum I idle with a regular Delco lifter. So I, I wanted to run that engine and some of you guys are going to think I'm crazy because I, I broke in a set of Delco flat tappet lifters. And then what I did was swap them out for the Rhodes lifters because I wanted to see how much vacuum we would increase. And I also wanted to see how much cranking compression would change. Uh, so what I did was break in the Delco lifters and then break in uh, the Rhodes lifters right after to compare the results. So let me go over what I found with that. You guys might be pretty interested in this. Um, so it's a 406. It's a stock dish piston, it only has like 9.3, 9.4 to one compression. Uh, I've swapped to Vortec heads on it. It's got a dual plane intake. Uh, it's really nothing fancy, uh, but uh, it sounds really awesome with this can shaft because it only has 11 inches of vacuum. But I want to note that this is 800 RPM, 22, 22 degrees at timing at idle with no vacuum advance hooked up. Uh, take a look, listen to how this uh, camshaft sounds because it sounds awesome. Note this is with the Delco lifters originally. I broke the cam in with the Delco lifters. So these are non variable duration lifters. These are just a sta standard hydraulic lifter. Uh, and I'll post the lifters, a picture of those because these are the, my favorite ones to use. Uh, so take a listen to how it sounded with the Delco lifters. So after I ran it, I checked cranking compression on this thing. It's got 155 PSI of cranking compression on cylinder one. Uh, and I will check the same cylinder on the next test we do with the Rhodes lifters. So I went ahead and swapped in the Rhodes lifters. Uh, and here's what the idle sounded like with those. So you'll notice right away how much different that idle sounds with those road lifters. So the road lifters are doing exactly what they're what they claim they do. It's bleeding off duration at idle, so it's smoothing out the idle. So if the idle's smoother, well, and before anyone comments, that is exactly the same 800 RPM, 22 degrees ignition timing, 
everything's exactly the same. Even though it doesn't sound like it, it's exactly the same. No vacuum advance hooked up, uh, exact same RPM. Even though it sounds like a completely different engine, the only thing we changed there was the lifters. So I'm gonna play again back to back the, the idle sound of first the Delco lifters and then the Rhodes lifter, lifters so you guys can hear them back to back. So their claim of more vacuum did happen and a smoother idle did happen. So those guys that love the sound of the big cam might not be happy, but the guys that like their power brakes, well, guess what? It just went from 11 inches of vacuum to just over 15 inches of vacuum. That's a huge increase. That goes from, you know, not a great feeling pedal to a decent feeling uh, pedal uh, for power brakes. The cranking compression went from 155 all the way up to just over 180 PSI can crank, of cranking compression. Work. Whenever you see the cranking compression go up, usually that's a really good indication it's gonna make better bottom end power. So this is all well and fine and great uh, that we you know have a better idle if that's what we're going for, if we're making better low end power. But my question is, and a lot of guys, I've, I've heard even uh, David Visard comment about this, is he says they will never recover uh, the lift that they claim they will, uh, in higher RPM as the oil pressure increases, they're supposed to go to almost like a solid lifter and make more power than a regular lifter. I would be happy if it even made the same power as that Delco lifter, and that's why I wanna dyno test this. So if you guys are interested in seeing me actually do this same test and swap the lifters back and forth on the dyno, let me know, because that's gonna be obviously a lot of work and a lot of money to dyno test for that, but I would love to know, because a lot of guys claim uh, that that they never recover and will make less power uh, than a regular lifter. Uh, I've seen the only, I haven't really seen any tests. I did some research on this and a lot of the tests that claim to make more power with the Rose Lifters top end seem to be old magazine advertisement tests, which I don't, you can take with a grain of salt because half those tests, they were paid to do this kind of stuff. So they're not going to make the look, the product look bad. I could care less. I would, I just want to know if this would be really neat if this lifters did make uh, you know more vacuum, better bottom end power, and then end up making more top end power. I'd be even happy if it matched the power of the regular lifter, because that would be a very interesting that it could do both. So comment below, let me know if you guys want me to see me dyno test this, and if you have any questions or anything about that. Uh, but I think, it's, uh, I think it's pretty neat how well these work. Some of you guys are gonna comment about what they sound like, okay? Uh, they sound very similar. I tried to film it. Everything's really kind of hard to tell on video what things sound like, but they are noisier. I'm not gonna say they're not. They sound similar to a solid lifter, so that little bit, but they, they little bit of ticking, but they sound uh, idle almost like uh, like a sewing machine. So the engine sounds a little bit more like a sewing machine at idle where the Delco lifters are obviously completely quiet. Uh, so that is the downfall to these lifters. And I think a lot of the guys back in the day would drive them nuts, but they're very, you're very fussy on adjusting these. Uh, so you have to really follow the instructions when you're adjusting these lifters uh, to, get, to get them as quiet as possible, but they are a little noisy. I will try to put the best sound clip I can of that. So it is a little noisier than your average hydraulic lifter, but it sounds, uh, it does not sound like, like a normal collapsed lifter, like some people claim. It is noisier, similar to a mechanical lifter, I would say, maybe a little bit quieter. Uh, so let me know in the comments below, Rhodes lifters or some of the other brands, like Howard's has a fast bleed lifter, or lifters. Uh, let me know what you guys have used, if you have any experience with them for top end power, because I'd really like to dyno test this. So comment below, let me know what you guys think. Uh, is this something you guys are interested in? Because uh, it, it would be cool if they did end up making more top end power, like 
some of these old ads claim, uh, or even if it just made better low end power and matched the, the top end power as a regular Delco lifter. Uh, it would be uh, neat to try. As far as quality, these lifters, these are old, these is an old box and old lifters. The quality was great. Uh, they broke in no problem. I had no problems with break in. I checked the taper on each lobe. I'll post the link uh, down low of that video, how I check them real quick. Uh, and the, the crown on everything on the lifters was fantastic. So hopefully if they're, if they're still manufacturing the same way, they still have a good, um, you know, uh, quality control like they obviously did back in the day. Uh, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks guys.